Now, first, though, we want to get into uh, one of the more interesting ballot measures that Oregonians are going to be voting on in 42 days. I'm talking about Measure 109. It allows for the manufacture, delivery, and administration of psilocybin at supervised licensed facilities and imposes a two-year development period. Translation, it would let you legally use magic mushrooms, but only in a licensed therapeutic setting. Now, unlike marijuana, you would not be able to buy them at a store and take them home and use them there or really even grow them yourself. So it would be regulated in that sense. But like marijuana, supporters say mushrooms aren't about just getting high. They say that they can treat conditions like anxiety and depression. Stigma is tackled through education. It's plain and simple. And we know from our polling research that shows when we are able to educate Oregon voters on what psilocybin is, who stands to benefit from psilocybin, and what the research is showing, we know that Oregonians are with us. Now, you might be wondering why you really haven't seen many ads about this issue. It seems kind of like perfect for TV ads. Uh, there is a reason KGW's political analyst, Len Bergstein, put it this way. I think it's an issue that in any other year would create a tremendous amount of attention. I, I'm, I, I'm not sure that it's going to be the focus of people's attention this, uh, this year because of the presidential and because of a whole bunch of other issues that are uh, COVID and uh, racial justice uh, related. Uh, but it's a significant issue and it would be Oregon taking a step forward and putting itself on a path that says for the next two years, we're really going to try and establish a program like this. Look, there's a lot on the ballot that we haven't really talked about, so we're going to continue to explore that in the coming days and weeks. Let us know what you want us to discuss.